This is every day. It's nothing new. Been doing this since I was like eight. Are you ready to uh, whoop some butt? Yes. How many touchdowns you got for? Six. Six. All right. All right, describe your career for us so far. Shemupka, I would say it's been pretty explosive. Tyler, <laughs> times they changed your tuck into the player of the year. Ninth overall Heisman Trophy winner. After first overall rookie of the year. Being outside the box, the mentality of one, the confidence, two, the swagger. You can never have too many options. Drop step it inside zone and go. Only clap. Let's go. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go the other way. My goal every time I touch the field is to win. You know what I'm saying? Good, good. Let's rip, let's rip. Winning for me is normal, I would say. You know, I think that's what I've always done. I'm used to feeling that feeling of winning. And then when you lose, you know, it's tough. That's when you really find out about yourself. Me personally, like in the locker room after an L, man, it's a lot of anger, frustration, sitting there for hours, a lot of quiet rides to the crib, even nights, you know, where Pops had to check on me because, you know, I'm just not being myself because of so many losses, you know, and I've never dealt with this in my life. So going through the ups and downs of it all is a new pace for me. In football, like I said, I touch the ball every play. I get a lot of opportunities to make plays. Oh, it's been a minute. In baseball, you may only get four ABs, you may only get three ABs. Whatever you do with those is what you do with those on that day. I've learned this from baseball. Take the good days for the good days, and take the bad days for the bad days, but you gotta keep swinging, you gotta keep working. Throughout it all, I've learned basically to control what I can control. Whether it's being on time, whether it's treating people right, whether it's giving back, or even just, you know, playing hard, you know, not worried about the result. I can control my attitude. I can control whether or not I'm bringing juice to the locker room and trying to bring the guys with me. It's a long season. Like, the ball ain't always going to be coming out spinning. My mechanics aren't always going to feel good. It might be sloppy one game. You just never know. That's going to be every year battle, I feel like, is how do you perform when you don't have your best stuff. Luckily, I got a mama that can cook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's da funny. Daddy didn't really cook much. On, on the grill. Did he say on the grill? <laughs> <laughs> he lying? You made me do a 360. On the grill, Daddy? I don't remember too much grill work. I want to say he's a visionary. It's like whatever he sets his mind to do, he does it. Like he's way beyond his years in his head. I think the mental aspect is what's going to take me to the next level. How can we evolve that? How can we keep growing that? When those pressure situations and those, those high intense games, those games in November and December that matter, the playoff games, if my mental's in a place where I can be at my best, then I feel like the team and uh, myself will flourish and we'll take that next step. I enjoy going against the greatest ever play the game. So like, if I want to be that, I got to beat that. At the end of the day, shit, Kyler Murray's going to control Kyler Murray. <laughs>